So you can actually run this with and without food. Now, this team was actually discovered by accident. I was doing account takeovers and Afro wanted me to build him a Phantom Shogun 25 team, which I did. And if you want to see how this team is built, I have a video. I'll put it down in the description. But we're not going to go over that. However, this is the same ninja we discovered that could be used in Sand Devil. It's the same exact ninja. Now, he has presets. I'll start off by talking about the presets. You don't actually need presets. There's no need for, for there to be any presets. The only thing that matters here is that Aniri is in the leader position and that ninja is in the number one position here. So let me go ahead and run this and we'll um, show you guys how it's done. It's fairly quick. Uh, you know, it takes about like uh, two minutes, I think. And you guys have probably already seen this before. Ninja dies after he drops the, the his HP burns and Aniri does her thing and then revives herself and then she revives Ninja, resetting his cooldowns. And when he is sleeping, Ninja is able to place the HP burns. Now, results may vary. The reason being is because if you have higher level of blessings, you will probably be able to do this a lot more so easily because you get huge blessings from or sorry you get huge stat boosts from doing the blessings as well as the other mechanics that are incorporated once you put that on your character uh, another thing is brimstone if you can get brimstone on ninja that will help a lot the higher the level of blessing for brimstone that you have the better the sand devil will cleanse the brimstone and, and we'll check i don't know if it's the fifth or the sixth star blessing that brimstone is protected i think it's the sixth Regardless, if you can get Brimstone on him, try to do so. But if you do put Brimstone on him, make sure he has an adequate amount of accuracy because to land the Brimstone Blessings, you need an adequate amount of Blessings. However, for Stage 25 of Sand Devil, you need high level accuracy anyway. This is an end game dungeon. It's important to farm. It's important to farm the Phantom 25, the, the Iron Twins, the, the Sand Devil 25 um dungeons because of ascension it's it's huge you could take the gear that you already have and take it to the next level i mean that's the name ascension in and of itself so it's important that you try to, try to get to this as uh as quickly as possible do, do what you can whenever you have uh the spare energy uh say goodbye to your energy <laughs> once you can start doing this um but yeah so make sure you have a uh, high accuracy for these dungeons and the reason i talked about it being end game is because if you are newer or late game or just got into end game quote unquote you might have trouble doing this depending on whether or not you have the blessings or if you have the uh gear it's very gear intensive and we'll break it down here pretty soon but i just wanted to give you the guys that context so here we are about two minutes his best time was one minute and 41 seconds that's when he got really lucky with brimstone and again, this is the same ninja that we use for Phantom Shogun 25. There is only one ninja you can get. He only has one ninja on his account. There it is, just one ninja, and you, you can't get a second ninja anyway. He was a limited time champion that's never going to happen again. But let me go ahead and show you guys and talk about Aniri. Of course, he has a fully blessed Godseeker, Aniri, and so that helps out quite a bit. The Miracle Heal provides extra speed, it provides defense and HP, and then heals any destroyed max HP. This is a fully booked Aniri. I know that there are quite a few uh, different Aniris floating around, one with books, one without books, one with like one or two books on the A2 or the A3. I actually have an Aniri that's fully booked. I was using for stage 24. I didn't know that I could do this on my account. I didn't know that I could do a... Uh, a fully booked Godseeker Neri with Ninja. I thought it was one way or the other. So I actually need to go back and redo my Sand Devil 25 team because uh, Walking Tomb Drang, although he does it, it takes like two or three times as long. He does it in five minutes. But Ninja, because of his HP burns activations, uh, it's, it's extremely fast, considerably. So yeah, fully booked. Here are the Masteries. Go ahead and blindly copy these Masteries. But remember, don't blindly copy Masteries. We are taking 
the extra defense and decreased damage from AoEs. You could also take improved parry, which decreases damage received by crits because in, uh, especially if you're struggling with staying alive, you might want to consider taking 8% from crit hits because the Sand Devil and the Shogun will crit hit you and kill you. It's the same concept for Ice Golem, Hard Ice Golem, but there's nothing wrong with taking this, especially if you have a high level blessing. Take Shadow Heal so that you heal whenever the Sand Devil is healing as well. Go ahead and take Resurgent, and that's fine. Delay Death for damage mitigation and counterattack masteries. We're taking on the support tree, we're going to be taking Steadfast for extra max HP, increasing heals, more heals. And now for Spirit Haste, generally speaking, whenever I see Spirit Haste on a Neri, I am thinking that you're going to go into the battle with food. I don't know how that affects. I don't know if you can bring food in. Uh, it's good to bring food in because it essentially means that you could be multitasking. But I don't know if this affects the run if you do or don't. It, obviously, it's fine without having to bring food in. It just works with only Aniri and Ninja. And then we're taking extra HP here. In fact, after this, let's go ahead and after I break down the Ninja's build and everything, let's test that out. If we bring in food, will this affect the speed tune? Here are the pieces of gear. Prioritizing survivability stats, HP defense the ring the banner total stats include 80k this is really good 80k 4800 defense high effective max hp um, because the way it works is when the sand devil attacks you some of your hp your max hp is going to be destroyed and that is going to affect how much you heal by so for the Immortal and Regen set, and by the way, you could use Regen and Defiant. I am personally more privy to doing Regen and Defiant because there's more damage mitigation, especially from AoEs and extra defense. But Immortal and Regen works just fine. It just kind of depends on, on what you have. But anyway, when, when your max HP is destroyed, you're going to be healing by less because 15% of 80k is X amount of numbers, or I guess 18% uh, with Immortal. And then when your max HP is destroyed, you're going to be healing that much less. So your 18% of 80 now becomes like 18% of 70. You know what I mean? So you're healing a lot less. And that is why Miracle Heal helps out quite a bit. And also why I sometimes would recommend to do Defiant. Ninja is going to have Brimstone. We already talked about Brimstone. He's fully booked. I know that most of you newer players out there can't get ninja, but if somehow you guys do happen to get your hands on a ninja on an account, try to use ninja and this is how you would build them. Or maybe you have ninja sitting in the vault and you decided you want to build ninja for both your sand devil and your phantom shogun team. This is the way to do it. Here are the masteries. We're taking extra crit rate, extra crit damage, healing, extra damage here. And then the most important thing is going to be going down the support tree for extra accuracy. Now, generally speaking, I don't think you should take Arcane Celerity for these uh, runs. I think it's best to leave any type of turn meter manipulation off so that nothing gets out of tune. But for some reason it works, so if it works, it works, and we're going to roll with it. Um, but we're going to go down here for extra stats. Sniper to land the HP burns a little more consistently. And then we'll take Master Hexer to extend the HP burns as well. And if you're struggling to get accuracy, I highly recommend taking Eagle Eye. That's an extra 50 points of accuracy in case you are lacking it. Here are the pieces of gear, not even fully um, leveled up. Again, mostly prioritizing accuracy. He, he's not going to live no matter what you do. He, he's not supposed to live. He's supposed to die. You want him to die. All right, so here are the stats. Again, HP and defense really don't matter. We want him to die. What does matter is his 251 speed. You do not have to build him with 100% crit rate and crit damage, but it helps. All that matters is his speed and 634 accuracy, high accuracy to land the HP burns because the Sand Devil is going to require high levels of accuracy. Okay, let's just go ahead and bring in some food, and I want to see if this will work even when there is food involved. Let's bring this guy in. 
Let's take this off super raid so we're not wasting some energy. Everybody dies. We bring back Ninja. She's going super fast. Ninja's dead. It goes in Neri. And we'll see. It'd be cool if you could bring in food. The reason is, um, you know, sometimes we have events like the Sand Devil event tournaments, and then you'd also want to double dip into the champion training whenever champion training does show up. Let me move myself back down here. So if you're able to level up food passively as well as farm this dungeon, it would be ideal. It looks like it's doing well so far. And again, you don't have to use ninja. I know a lot of you guys don't have ninja, but if you want to use somebody else, you could use somebody else. I use Walking Tomb Drang. He's he's not a void champion, so he's relatively easier to get if you've been playing for a minute. I have two of him. Again, I've been playing for five years, so maybe I can't really talk. There is Geomancer. I think I've seen people use Geomancer. Artak could probably get it done. So, I don't know. Who do you guys use in Sand Devil? Let me know. May I might I might do a uh, showcase on on those teams. There it is, and of course Brimstone helps out. Just look at how Ninja chunks away at his HP. It's it's completely amazing. You know what I really know what I like? I just noticed. I just noticed this, but look at let's look at Ninja. Oh, where is he? Right there. Look at Ninja. Look at his bow. I just realized that it's lit up and glowing. That's pretty cool. So it does look like he can bring in food and farm food at the same time as he does Sand Devil. And that's awesome. There it is, two minutes. And there it is, some extra chaos dust. And if you're one of those people that don't have Ninja and you want to see how to build a Sand Devil 25 team without Ninja, check out this video where I use Walking Tomb Drang. Oh,